Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to record it here then. Okay, this is the, the information gap activity, the three branches of government. I'm person A, and my partner Sarah is person, I'm sorry, I'm person B, and my partner is Sarah, and she is person A. Are you ready, Sarah? I am. Are you ready, Ryan? I am. So in this hex, I can see that the president is the leader. What branch of government is the president the leader of? The executive branch, okay. And in the executive branch, there's the president, the cabinet departments, and independent government agencies. Uh, what responsibilities does the executive branch have? The executive branch has the responsibility to enforce the laws. To enforce laws. Goes right here, okay. Um, what is the relationship between the executive branch and the legislative branch. So this box right here, what's the relationship between those branches? The executive branch can veto bills or veto laws that the legislative branch sends to them. They can so veto, veto, laws. veto laws, okay. And so then I see here the, um, the legislative branch can impeach and they can override vetoes with a two-thirds vote. Um, in, the, in the legislative branch hex, uh, who is the leader of the legislative branch? Congress. Congress. The leader of the legislative branch. Okay. And who is involved in the legislative branch? There's two parts. Two, okay. The Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate and the House of Representatives. And what is the relationship between the legislative branch and the judicial branch for this box right here? They approve federal judges. So the legislative branch will approve federal judges? Good. That's right. And I see that the judicial branch can declare laws unconstitutional. And that's because the, the responsibility of the legislative branch is to create laws. Um, here we see the, the judicial branch and the head of the judicial branch is the courts. So what courts are involved in the judicial branch? Well, there's the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeals, and then there's district courts. So there's three? Mm -hmm. so the Supreme Court the first one. The Court of Appeals is the second one, and then the District Court is the third one. Thank you. And I think my last question, what is the relationship between the executive branch and the judicial branch right here? The relationship between the executive branch and the judicial branch is the, the executive branch has the power to appoint judges. The power to appoint judges. What does appoint mean? Appoint means to choose. So the executive branch can choose who they would like to be on the Supreme Court or a district court or a court of appeals. And so they have the power to appoint a judge. They also have pardon power. Okay. So two things in this box. One, to appoint judges and two, to pardon. And pardon means what? Pardon means to forgive someone for their crimes or not have them face the punishment for their crimes anymore. So someone may be released from prison or something else where the president can forgive their crime. Perfect. Thank you. And I see the relationship between the judicial branch and the executive branch is that the judicial branch can declare the presidential acts unconstitutional. All right, Sarah, I have my chart filled out. Uh, I guess we can go fill out your chart next, okay? okay. Thank you.